Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is the reception of the snap from the center to the quarterback. We want to get a good spread of our hands, and we're going to want the um, top of our hand uh, parallel to the ground. So that if we kept on going, we'd hit the ground, uh, our hand would flatly hit the ground. We want a good spread of the hand. We want the middle finger right up the crack of the center. And we want the hands in deep so that as much of the hand as possible is covered uh, by the center's cloth. Um, we are going to now place our top knuckle of our left hand for a right-handed quarterback in between the two knuckles of the right hand. We do not want the left hand overlapping because we feel there will be too much air uh, in between the hands where the ball could squirt through. We want the left hand underneath so that the heels are together and we want to press up and apply the pressure with the bottom hand. We feel this is very important. If we press with the top hand and pressure with the top hand, there'll be a tendency for the quarterback to ride to center with one hand only and there'll be a breakage of the hands as the ball's being snapped which could lead to a fumble. We want to ride with the bottom hand so all pressure is placed up with the bottom hand and the right is with the top hand and is the ball that breaks the heels of our hands apart. It's very important that in the snap action the quarterback is actually going to ride the center with those shock absorbers, ride him until the ball breaks his heels apart. He can't pull out and that's why we do not want to have the locked arms. He has to ride him until the snap is made. Then he's going to draw the ball immediately whether it is a handoff or whether it's a pass to his third hand, which we feel is the soft of his belly, the pouch, which will now uh, um, serve to cover the ball up in case the quarterback is getting hit and he doesn't know it's coming to be able to secure the football. Okay, here's Travis showing you the proper uh, techniques for receiving the snap. You see that his fingers are spread properly. He has his middle finger. He's pushing that middle finger up the crack of the center's butt. The top palm is parallel to the bottom uh, to the ground. Uh, knuckles, he's basically got that knuckle, bottom knuckle of the left hand underneath the, the right hand, pressing up with the bottom hand. He's pressing up with the bottom hand, and now he's ready to receive the snap. The important thing now is as the snap made is made, he is going to extend with those shock absorbers. He's going to ride. Get a, he, get a little more bend, Travis, show him a little more bend, and now he's got the ability to ride as he's naturally stepping out. So he's got those shock absorbers, so now he can ride the center's movement. He can ride the center's movement as the center starts to move out and snaps the football. Then he draws the ball to his belly immediately, whether it's a pass or a run, so that he's properly securing the football.